it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of my 2020 Valentine card series. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawn's Manatee Rific, You Are Sublime, and Mermaid for You. So I've stamped out all the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my manatees, and for them I'm using W00, W1, W3, and W5. In most cases, I do prefer warm grays for critters, um, and I thought these are really close to the color of real manatees. They do have kind of that warm tone to their skin. So I am starting with that W5 and laying in some shadows, mostly on his belly and on the underside of his fins and on the underside of his face. And then I did a little bit on either side of his muzzle just to accentuate that and a little line down his back to give him that really rounded pudgy appearance. Then I'm beginning to blend out with that W3, just pulling that color out a bit. I want him to have some strong shadows, but um, I'm definitely saving a lot of area for those lighter tones so he doesn't get too dark. So then I'll use the W1 to pull that color even further into the center, and then I'll finish up with that W00. So when I use the W00, I am going to color in little circular motions and just make sure to catch the edge of the previous color so that I don't have any harsh lines. Then I'm going to color the second manatee exactly the same. I just made the top of her head a little bit lighter to make her a little bit different. And now I'm going to go in with my W5 and W3 and add a little dot detail to give them some texture, especially since manatees often have a lot of little spots and scars and things on their body. So that just kind of gives them a more realistic look. I'll use the RV10 to give them some rosy cheeks. This is a really pale color, so I'm just making sure to color over it a few times and make sure that it kind of pushes a little bit of that gray away and makes room for the pink to show. But because it pushes that back, it can have a tendency to leave a little ring of color around that. So to eliminate that, I just colored over it with the W00. Then I'm moving on to some of my grasses, and I'm using G14, G16, and G19 for this first combo. And I'm going to just add a little bit of that G19 on the right-hand side of each of those little um, blades of grass, and then blend toward the left with the G16, and then add a little highlight with the G14. Then for the next grasses, these kind of rounder ones, I'm going to keep the color palette the same, but I'm going to add in the G28 to just make them extra dark. So it just is a step darker from the previous grasses that I did. So it'll have a very similar um, color tone, but just a little bit more contrast. And I know there's not a ton of room there, but I did manage to squeeze on all four of those shades. And then for the final grasses, I'm going to go in a much lighter color scheme. I'm using YG00, YG01, and YG03. And I'm just going to keep the color lightest on the edges and then keep that little bit of that darker shade with the YG03 towards the stem of the grasses. So I guess these would be kelp. Um, my brother actually has swam with manatees many times and has taken lots of videos, so I've had the privilege to see these creatures in their natural habitat. I've actually seen them myself in person, but I didn't get to swim with them. But anyway, I'm moving on to the little stone there, and I'm using C5, C7, and C9. I wanted to use cool tones just to really differentiate from the manatees, and I went a lot darker with that. And then for the little shell, I'm going to go back to my RV10, but also introduce the RV13 and RV14 to make that much brighter. Since this is a Valentine card, I definitely wanted to have some pops of pink on there. And I just went back and added a little more of that RV13 um, in the center because it got knocked back. 
And then I'm going to use a little RV10 for the conch shell. Just added a little color and left the rest of that white. And for the tiny little fish, I'm using BV02 and BV04, just keeping that darker color towards the tail. And then I'll trim all of these out with the matching dies. For my focal panel, I've got some pieces of pattern paper trimmed down. I used the watercolor wishes for the blue and tan pieces. And I used the stitch hillside borders to make the tan piece into some sand. And then I took a piece of pink spiffy speckles and trimmed that down with the outside in stitch rectangle stackables. And I also trimmed out a piece of cheap white cardstock. I usually use um, Georgia Pacific from Walmart. And the only thing I use that for is just to strengthen my focal panels. So I'll just glue those together. And then I'm going to grab the reverse stitch scallop square windows and I'm going to trim that out from the center of the pink panel. So I ran that through my die cutting machine, but before I adhere those together, I wanted to stamp a little trio of bubbles on the blue background. So I'm using Lawn Fawn's Moonstone ink to stamp that out. And then while I have my Misty out, I'm also going to stamp out my sentiment. And I'm just using Memento Tuxedo Black once again for that. And I'm going to stamp out the sentiment that says, I am deeply in love with you from uh, You Are Sublime. And then I'll grab my card base, which is Lawn Fawn's Ballet Slippers cardstock. And I'm going to stamp on the inside using bubblegum ink. And I'm stamping out the You Are Sublime sentiment and then the little submarine with the trio of hearts once again. So now it's time to start the assembly and I'm going to grab that uh, sea and sand panel and I'm going to glue that down at the top of my card base and just make sure that that is lined up correctly with the window so that you see that little trio of hearts completely and it's not getting cut off. So I just slid that down into place to where I wanted it and then I can peel off the release papers from the foam tape that I've added to the back of my focal panel and then I can line that up in the center of the card and pop it down into place and I love that you get that little bit of that darker color pink around the outside edge there. So now I can begin to add my images and I'm starting with the grasses and uh, greenery down at the bottom. I'm adhering those with some liquid glue and just tucking in the bottom edge behind my sandbank. And I'm trying to space them out and make sure that there's different heights and different colors and like no two of the same are right next to each other just so I have kind of a really full and uh, pretty look. And once I have all the grasses in place, then I can begin to place in the little accessories. So as I'm going, I'm leaving some space for those and kind of just playing around and figuring out where I want everything to go. I did add that little rock before I placed that final bit of grass, just so I could make sure to have it just where I wanted it and have the grasses kind of tucked behind. And then I'll take my little conch shell and use that to fill in the space on the left hand side. Then I can grab my manatees and I'm going to nestle the female there right between those two taller grasses so her tail is coming down between and that uh, larger kelp is kind of overlapping her just a little bit to kind of integrate her into the scene. And then I'll add my mail and give him the little seashell to kind of use as his valentine to be giving to his love. And then I've got this tiny little purple fish kind of uh, watching the scene above and uh, just taking everything in. I thought that was a nice little detail. So now I have my sentiment, which I have trimmed down with an everyday sentiments banner. And I'm just going to add that right underneath the window. And as a final touch, I'm going to grab some crystal stickles and just add a few little details. I'm going to add it to the conch shell and the little purple fish and also to the seashell that's in the male manatee's hand. So that is going to complete my card for today. I will pick that up so you can see how that crystal stickles catches the light and see all that stitching detail up close. And I will also give you another peek at the inside. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and you can subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have your support. Also make sure that you've hit that notification bell so my videos always show up in your feed. If you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra Valentine videos I thought you might also be interested in. So hopefully those will tide you over until my next one. Until then, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.